Hi, this is Andy with wristadvisor.com. And today, as you can see, we have a very, very special review. We are hands-on with the new Rolex Daytona with the ceramic bezel, and then also the previous reference with the stainless steel bezel. So I wanted to be able to do this video to show you guys these two watches side by side, both very popular. Uh, but before we begin, I want to thank Moyer Fine Jeweler for letting us come in the store today. They have two in their pre-owned stock. So when I heard about that, I ran in here to be able to do this video uh, before they sell. Uh, just to start, because I know everyone's going to be curious about this, the older reference is getting sold for almost 27000 and the new white dial on the uh, ceramic bezel is 38,000. So this is the hottest watch in the watch world right now. Definitely one of the hardest to get pre-owned, I mean not uh, new, and also pre-owned. Um, so let's put this on the wrist to be able to show you guys what it looks like. Wow, this is just, it's almost surreal to have this on the wrist. You know, you see lots of pictures on Instagram, on Google of these watches, and you know, you wonder what it looks like on the wrist, and, and wow, it just, it just absolutely looks amazing. You can totally see why, um, you know, when you put this on, why it's so popular. Uh, not just because it's a Rolex and it, you know, there's already investment value into it, it just looks like a solid watch. And I think the Oyster Bracelet does a really good job just really bringing this watch to life. So as you can see, this is a chronograph, performs um, when you unscrew these, these pushers, start, stop, reset. The movement on this is upgraded from the previous version. It is the 4130 and has approximately a 72 hour power reserve, which is really good for a chronograph. Uh, you can see that the uh, black ceramic bezel on this just really shines, really does a really good job. Um, there is another reference on these. Uh, it is a, a black dial. So those are the two stainless steel references for the newer Daytona, um, uh, the new Daytona collection. So I want to give some love and, and some attention to the older reference because without this, there would have never been that. So this... Um, was the most sought after Rolex um, before the newer reference came out. Uh, and I think that there's just, you know, there's a lot of history behind the Daytona. It used to be a watch that, uh, you know, was not in demand. Uh, it failed to be the, the first watch, one on the moon, rebranded itself to the Daytona, you know, from the Cosmograph to the Daytona. Uh, but it's just been very, very, very resilient. And uh, as you can see, the uh, stainless steel looks amazing. Uh, stainless steel bezel looks amazing on the wrist as well. Uh, let's put both on just to take a look at what they both kind of look like. Um, you know, I, from a preference standpoint, I would probably pick the ceramic bezel uh, just for because of scratching and durability. But uh, I really, really, really just like how clean this one looks. Uh, you know, there's this one's very contrasting. It has the uh, the, the black ring subdials. Um, this, it just, it just looks a lot smoother. Um, but that's not to say that uh, this, just, this just isn't amazing in itself. So, Guys, I, this is uh, a short video, but I, I know that uh, just from doing this for almost a year now, you guys care about seeing these watches side by side and what they look like on the wrist. So I want to be able to provide uh, what you guys are looking for from me. So uh, if you guys like this video, um, you know, hit the like button. And if you like the style and the content that we do, subscribe to the channel. It really does help us be able to grow our relationships in the industry so we can get hands-on with the, the white dial uh, ceramic Daytona, the hottest watch right now in the watch world, and its, it's predecessor. I mean, so uh, guys, thank you for joining us on this video, and we will see you on the next one.